Final Fantasy 7 the remake oh we're at the base of the sector 7 pillar and Shinra is trying to drop it and we gotta stop him so as soon as this thing loads we'll get the show on the road thanks for joining me if you so choose We gotta go up there. Let's just do a quick check. Let's see if I'm overlooking anything obvious. Alright. And do a quick Equipment check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Should be good enough. And still hasn't learned Star Shower. But yeah, no one has any upgrade points really worth spending. And yeah, Tifa still has stuff to learn. But is there any other weapons I'm forgetting about? No. Oh yeah, that's right. I could switch over for a higher attack. I'll stick with the original for now though. And her, yeah, she's done. She's on her last. And I could have had a new weapon that I stolen. I didn't know I needed steel equipped, so oh well. I think you can buy it in one of, one of the towns outside of Midgar. So now that we've checked our loadout for our equipment, it's time to scale this pillar. Put stop to Shinra, or at least try to. So let's go. Hey, welcome back. Doing good. Doing good. Picking up right actually where we left off. What you got? Come on! <gasps> Wedge, listen to me. 
You stay here with them. Yeah. I played it back when it first came out. I'm replaying it now to see how much has changed. The original game was a work of art in its own right. This is also pretty much a work of art, but for different reasons. So yeah, 20 years later, playing through the same areas, but they're just rendered in 3D now, as opposed to 2D, cleverly placed and orientated. And of course they changed the um, battle system completely, so it's like almost an entirely different game. But somehow it still actually feels like the same game. So, I don't know. I'm still on the fence. I haven't made up my mind about whether I, I like it or not. I'm, I'm still debating. I need to see the outer world outside of Midgar before I make any final decision. I mean, this is still so early in the game. We're not even through disc one yet. good job it feels like they took the Final Fantasy 15 engine the advent children models and some of the groundwork that was done during the Final Fantasy the spirits within movie and they just sort of combined all three for this amazing experience I'm not sure if I'm digging some of the changes though you know, little slight changes, like the way they did this Buster Sword, they made it look a lot nicer than it really was. It was supposed to be just a big giant hunk of metal. It's not supposed to look so polished. Don't think you're gonna get away uh, with these it. guys, they're, they're a pain. Uh, so I'm gonna target him first. Uh, I can even get the ATV up. So I cast some spells. I don't have my spell equipped. Electricity works the best on him. Arrow should be okay. Now it's done. Let's finish it. Now we'll just do one of these real quick. Voila. Nothing to it. But yeah, gone is the fanfare after every battle. And it seems like they focused more on making it a reality as opposed to the original game, which was more of an anime slash movie that you just sort of played through. This is definitely like they tried to put as much great. life into the characters and the environments as humanly possible. Made annoying little updates like drones that you can't really directly attack. And of course, you have to wait for your ATV meters to. Oh, there's one I can attack. But yeah. I'm still on the fence. There's parts I like and there's parts I don't like. So. We'll see what happens. Storm's coming. 
was never in doubt. It's kind of nice to see the characters uh, fully rendered. Like even like minor characters like Wedge and Biggs and Jesse. I mean the original FF7, the stairwell was like the same stairwell over and over again. Very reminiscent of uh, Final Fantasy VI, which had a similar um, area of the game at the end of the game when you had to climb a tower, the Tower of Kefka. So. I don't know, I always felt like 7 had a lot of callbacks to 6, so I was also curious to see how much of that remained in the game, but, no oh wait, what's that? Wait, is this, this is where I came from, I think. Yeah, I'm backtracking. I got turned around. Got distracted with what I was talking about. But anyway. <clears throat> We'll see. We'll see, uh... So far, I'm digging it, though. I'm curious to find out what they're trying to get at with, like, this stuff. This was never a part of the game before. This is all new. There was no ghosts. Constantly confronting him. And I have a feeling they're trying to link it with either the Cetra or um the life stream hey, you made it no i might not and biggs looks like hey, charlie sheen now is wedge i'm sorry but he does don't worry he'll bounce sounds back. like him too that's good to hear could have used some extra padding myself <coughs> don't talk it's Pretty bad up there. Cloud, promise me. Don't let it be for nothing. What about you? I've still got some fight left in me. Enough for another platoon or two. Don't gotta be a soldier. To make a difference. Oh, one more thing. The Leaf House. It's an orphanage. In the Sector 5 slums. The kids. They're great. I used to visit. <laughs> that right. you have to do yourself. Confess about the orphanage right as you die. No. Right. Playing those heartstrings. But you have so much in common. Thumbs up. Oh. Goodbye, Biggs. This isn't over. Your death will not be in vain. Another thing about, um, this character, just like I was saying about the Final Fantasy VI references, Biggs and Wedge were characters at the beginning of Final Fantasy VI that died when Terra was being introduced, and she had her reaction to um, the Esper trapped in the ice. Um, so yeah, Final Fantasy is riddled with little things like that, at least it used to be. Not so much anymore, at least uh, from what I can tell. There weren't any references in Final Fantasy VIII really to anything, except for perhaps in the card game. And nine 
It was a giant reference to all the old series, but it didn't have any direct links to anything. And I couldn't play through 10. 10 was just getting on my nerves really bad. Plus I had to go to college at that time, so I didn't have time for it anymore. And then 11 and 12 and 13 I sort of skipped over. 14 I played through, it was okay. 15 I haven't finished yet. But 15 has the same essential engine that this game has in terms of the combat and the graphics. <clears throat> Graphically speaking though, this is probably the most advanced I've seen from Square so far. That reminds me of Doom for some reason. Like I just want to get a Praetor token off that guy, but we're not playing Doom. So... This is, this is definitely a lot different than the original. Kicked him in the head. I got something for you. like these little things like you can switch between operator mode and um, punisher mode and it's uh it's different cloud never had anything like that before these are far simpler i'm not liking these ai's either they're like really annoying For good measure, let's use this. I'm ending this. Boom. Can't believe the defense. I only did six thousand. Usually I do about nine on that. Um, but yeah, it's it's like I said, they went in a different direction artistically with the directorial style. So now it's no longer an anime, interactive anime movie. Now it's, um, it's more of an immersive experience. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Slight flaws in the game mechanics for this area. Introduced the pointless. Well, I think those might have actually originally been in the game as well. They did have a lot of weird bosses in the original Final or not bosses, enemies. They had a lot of weird enemies in the original Final Fantasy VII. So I don't remember if Hello Trooper, Heli Trooper, was one of them. 
but it's not very well balanced for this section if you ask me. on the road. I got some Turks to fight. If, I mean, that's the thing. They've added a lot and they've changed a lot, but they stuck to the main milestones. How this evolves. I'm looking forward to it. And of course, you know, they just, they did a really good job with the scale. Alright, that's just a wall. Can't really show, but yeah, this area is not very good for it. I'm sure when we get to the top, it'll be better. It's kind of nice that there's no random encounters anymore. a lot to do with software limitations. Testing. Testing. Attention, Avalanche Skull. We know all about your evil plans to destroy the pillar. But the Turks, uh, but Shinra, that's us, won't let you get away with it. So go crawl back into whatever hole you crawled out of, or something. That ought to do it, right? your weapon and surrender. Shinra does not negotiate with terrorists. Much better, thanks. I'm sorry. I can't stay here. I have to help them. Go. Follow your heart. Get him, Tifa. Aerith. There's a bar in the center of town, 7th Heaven. I need you to get Marlene to safety, right? It's okay. I'll find her. Can you take her to the bar for me, witch? Consider it done. Now get up there and kick Shinra's ass. <clears throat> Come on. Seventh Heaven is this way. Wedge, wait! You guys can't stay here! So this is a new addition. This wasn't on, part of the original. On. Hey, let us through! How else are we supposed to get yeah. to Wall Market? Sir, you, you need have to, to open the gate! The if you don't let these people through! Back off! 
again, extending into the universe, trying to give you that experience. Put you right in the middle of it. I'm no good. Not to anyone up there or down here. I really wanted to give you a chance to get to know these characters. That's not true, Wedge. Don't give up hope yet. We could still save a lot of lives. You don't think we're gonna stop them from dropping the plate, do you? I want to believe that we can still win somehow. But something in my gut tells me we're due for a reckoning. Just this feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. But that's no excuse to give up. I don't want to look back one day and wish I'd done it different. Right here, right now. I need to know I did everything I could. I'm not sure what's gonna happen next, but I am sure I don't want to regret the choices I make tonight. Lives are in your hands. If you don't open up, we're all gonna die. <clears throat> Close it. No, sir. I will not obey that order. This way, everyone. Quickly, quickly. You can't just wait. Wedge. Huh? Seventh Heaven is just down this road, isn't it? Head straight and look right. You can't miss it. Don't worry about me. All right. I'll get these people to safety. This get out of Sector 7, guys. please! Of you need to get as job, far away from Sector 7 as possible right now! Go to Sector 5 so that's or 6! We never had them evacuate like that in the past. But this is what I mean. They couldn't leave well enough alone. They had to make some changes. I don't blame them. You all have to get out of Sector 7. Now, please! Mm -hmm. Slow down. Do you know what's going on? What do they want with a pillar? Well, there's still time. But... They're going to drop the plate on us? <sighs> yes. Those sons of bitches! What good do they think that'll do? Feel free to cry about it later. Right now, we need to get everyone to safety. Wait, the watch should clear the roads first. Ah, good thinking. Up to it. Avalanche, I take it? <sighs> Just a friend. Tell Tifa to lay low. We'll take care of things here. You know, I just realized something. They call their terrorist group Avalanche. And that's exactly what they brought down on themselves. An avalanche of steel and metal. So that's interesting. Never really thought about that before. Little stall quests. Oh no! Need to find another way to get there. 
Taking me in the slums. Get out of my way. I'm working here. So, I kind of feel like... The way they made this game was in acknowledgement of the original from within this game because there's several elements that I've seen now repeating where they nod their head that this has all already happened once before and that they're redoing it all again. That's just my theory though. I'll take you to her. Ready? Oh yeah, and that chick's name Marl, which coincidentally is a character in Chrono you Trigger. Take care of her? Of course. Betty, she kind of acts like what I would think Marl would Daddy. act in her old age. He'll be fine. I mean, they are all Square soft titles, so. Dang, these people are like shoving me. Stop! Help! Are you kidding me? Make it to Walmart if you run. I gotta go back this way. We can get through this. We just have to work together. Get to Walmart now. It's too dangerous here. Okay, not that way. Right. You gotta be in this house. We need to get through. This is it, isn't it? Almost there. Confirm. One more bird lost. Probably for the best. After all. Hmm. Change of plans. You can take it from here. Uh oh. Someone Dang. The second time Eris got blown up already. Or shadow much? Please be okay. close. There's the market. There we go. Hold on, Marlene. I'm coming for you. We never got to go down there. They took that out in this version. Where is she? Hider. 
friend of Tifa's. <laughs> um, where is she? Right now, she's with Cloud and the others. Daddy too? You mean Barrett? Yep, he's there too. Wait, Daddy's not coming home? Not yet. That's why I came to find you. Tifa asked me to. She said, take care of Marlene. <sighs> the thing is, this place isn't safe now. I'm gonna take you somewhere safer, okay? <laughs> Are they gonna destroy the bar? Are they gonna destroy our house? I know it's hard. Just remember, you still have your daddy. You can build a new home together, anywhere. Shall we go? That's the flower she gave to Cloud. So now she knows who Cloud gave the flower to. I hope you remember it. That was not in the original. Come on. But it makes the story so much better. Tell you what, we'll grow lots of flowers at your new house. Do you think that I can help too? Of course you can. Hey, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> um... Sang. You led us on a merry chase. Before you say another word, know that your options are limited. There's nothing to be scared of, okay? How about we make a deal? From what I remember of the original, this wasn't a cutscene, it was just a reference that Tifa made when she joined the party on the pillar. Or maybe after they get off the pillar, somebody updates them on what happened. But I don't think this was originally covered, but this event still did occur. Again, it was graphical limitations back then. Crazy. 
just like you. So suck it up, because I'm not leaving. Damn it! You wanna Again, explain yourself? New partner? scenes. All new. Where's Eric? I, I do remember something similar happening though in Rich. the original. Where we were being harassed by a helicopter as we climbed the stairs. We can still stop this. So Don't go walking into a pair of boats. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if there's any material out on that leg. There must be a reason if you put it there, right? No, just a, just a trap. Four level design. I can see these sentry guns here, but oh well, I'll take some extra XP. A chance to see for the master of skill. No? God. The secondary players, their ATBs take forever to charge. I'm not sure what's up with that. Somebody made a decision, I think. Good. Don't let them all get actions at the same time. It'll be too confusing. Make sure they only get their abilities every so often. Let them focus on just one character. Kind of like uh, Kingdom Hearts. Don't overdo 
it. I got it. Oh. to it. Let's get that shield up. Done. Oh yeah, and they gave everybody like different abilities. Now instead of just having unique moves, they gave them these abilities. What's up with this area? Wait, is something over there? No. Yes. No. Hold down. Speed. Ah. A couple of skill points, maybe. Bad. I won't give up. Let's do this. Let's finish this. For you. Hope you're ready. Special delivery. Mm. You're coming. 
Treasure check. Anybody lose any materia? Uh, those are goods. Yep, that's it. Nothing else going on up here. Let's go. Mm, can't go that way. So what, we got a backtrack? Gotta keep moving up. That's a fact. I'm sure there's a I missed something we gotta climb over here. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Didn't just put a jump button in there. I don't know if there's anything walking. I mean, I get it. Programming jumps is a pain, but... Aha, here we go. Oh good, and a perfect opportunity to show off the scale. If they actually gave us something to look at. Yes, there we go. So scale. We did a good job. Getting everything to scale. The game feels much larger than it did before. I mean, it, it felt huge when it came out in 97, but... You know, it have obviously lacked a lot of... What we see in this one. Real 3D rendered space. And objects and textures. As opposed to just really, really clever images. me a pizza. <laughs> That's right. I do. But I don't think Oh no. Tifa's crying. Did I say something wrong? No, uh, you're just dying, that's all. It's a very sad moment. This bump of death. Don't you guys have somewhere to be? It's not polite to stare, you know. Whoa. That's some really corny dialogue. They kinda messed up Jesse's death. Jesse. 
This is way better than the original. They almost turned it into a joke. It's not polite to stare. Really? That's your dying words. Not, I love you, Cloud. I have a big fat crush on you. And now I'm dying because I blew up a Mako reactor and I feel bad about it. But I didn't know the truth that uh, my bomb didn't actually do anything. It was Shinra who blew up their own reactor because they needed a reason to incite the public to go to war. Because much like America, Shinra and Midgar are kind of a metaphor for a military industrial complex. But yeah. Bit of a downer there. Poor Jesse. She was such a nice auxiliary character. Very cute. Even when she was low res. Goodbye, Jesse. Your death will not be in vain. I will carry it with me forward into the future. Your memory will stay in my heart. And we'll see each other again somewhere down the live stream. Not much further to go now, I think. I'm walking slowly in honor of their deaths. And also to admire the particles. But yeah, looks like boss fight. So let's uh, let's make our prep. Uh, looks pretty good. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. All right. So yeah, just a quick heal. On the Fallout style bench. Straight up rip off and fall out, like sitting and healing and waiting. But whatever. Maybe they're just homaging. Uh, I'll be Barrett. Let's go help him. Hang on, Barrett. We're coming. I ain't done with you yet. You hear me? Right. Rude. Show you on with the Turks. This was a good fight in the first one. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out in the new system. You. It's nothing personal, bitch. <laughs> Obligatory statement. Put the release Plate code. Separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. We need to stop Plate separation him. authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Yeah, yeah. Coming right up. 
Huh? No, you don't. Not when I'm working. Plate separation authorized. Awaiting confirmation. Press it. Oh, uh, so that's why they gave us the square option was to call up the menu because I haven't had Barrett in my party in a while. So they're giving me a chance to realign all his goodies. But I kind of took the time to already do that. But now that I'm looking at his equipment, yeah, he probably could be an upgrade. Still hasn't learned focus shot yet. So I'm gonna leave him with that for now. But I think I might have a better armor for him. No? Sorry, Barrett. Oh no wait. Nope. Nope. Yeah, sorry dude. I forgot to plan ahead and buy you new equipment. But you can have uh There we go. Cause I'm gonna be playing this cloud, so that should help him out a little. And material-wise, he's got a little bit of everything. Cool. Oh, you know what we should do though? We should take this. Now we're ready. this one. Help stab me. And nobody else has got anything going on. Jeez, look at that tuck. Jeez. So, Portuguese Stop that. I don't that time. Time for you to master focus shot. And Tifa, time for you to master star shower. Like every time I touch him, he just launches me. There we go. All in the mood. Go, Rudy. I believe that was part of the original. Us. Let's do bring it. Also, we can just dodge the attack. We 
Focus shot already. There you go. Finally. Put the pressure on. I got something for a helicopter. Right here. Storm's coming. Oh, I missed. Name. Scatter. Missed again. Eric, help me out, will you? With some electricity. Bye, Reno. It's been fun, but now it's time to say goodbye. I'll end this. Antifa, go ahead and tie up. Rude, keep him from messing with me while I'm killing Reno. Let's dance, asshole. Gotta love that level two limit break. Now we're getting a summon. That's nice. But meanwhile, um, crush cast cure. They really upgraded their fighting abilities. They're a lot stronger than they used to be. But that's good. I like strong bosses. They're more fun to fight. Go, fat chocobo. I choose you. Duty calls. seen Tifas yet. Should be good. Where are you going? 
weird Move. ghost to them. I'm starting to call them remake ghosts. They keep appearing over and over and over. And they were never there before. Late separation initiated. Oh, push the button. Section 1 separation imminent. Evacuate immediately. Late separation initiated. You son of a bitch! What have you done? <laughs> Cloud! Chipa! That's right, Bear. You just shoot that screen. That's gonna make a difference at this point. I feel your pain, though. What do we do? Again, something about the world of Final Fantasy VII bullets have no effect on anyone except for one you person in this world who has a severe allergy to bullets, as we'll see later. Marlene, my Probably. Marlene, what did you do with her? But again, this is syncing up with 1997 again. This is all pretty standard. Because this is going to force them to go to Shinra building. And that's where the game really starts. Ancient. Where exactly do you expect them to go? Eric! Uh, Eric! 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 Ah, Kate Sith makes his first appearance. <laughs> yep, just like in '97, just looks a hell of a lot better. seem to call uh, Wedge getting squished by the plate. I think Wedge actually died on the tower. 
Or not the tower, the pillar, I mean. It's kind of sad that he got smushed. But who knows, maybe the rubble pack, you know, fell in such a way that he, he found a gap. And him and the kitty survived. One step closer to leaving Midgar. Like two more missions, I think, and we'll be good to go. Finally, see what the outer world looks like, because that's when the game really opens up. As far as I remember, disc one was all of Midgar, and whenever you had to go back to Midgar, you had to reload disc one. But disc two covered the outer world, the greater world. Disc three covered the updates to the world, and then disc four was the end game. Because hey! you know, Anybody every disc was only 700 Barry? megabytes. I think I hear him up ahead. So the whole game was like less than two gigs. Hey! Can anybody hear me? Shoot, I already got turned around. I think it's this way. Here goes. And push! Again, he should just pull out his sword and go whoosh! Just cut that shit right in half. They should have added sword interactions. That would have been much more interesting. But I'm sure it was a limitation of the system that they used to build the world. This is pretty much the same as the original. Just, you know, again, much better resolution. Jesse! Now he's calling after Ghost. Very sad the first time I saw that. And shocked that they just drop a whole plate on a sector like that. Pretty cold and heartless. To treat poor people like that. But again, Avalanche brought the Avalanche. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was sin that pulled the trigger to death. That's the truth. Am I right? You're right, Barrett. It was Shinra. The Almighty Power Company. Yeah. His hands still kind of look like blocks. They're so big. Hold on to this. This is anger. Okay. Go go inside. Mm hmm. Did you open the back door? Nope. But I'm streaming right now, so you can't talk to me. Because it's going to confuse everyone. Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. <sighs> yes, she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? You know, I'm wrong. There was one reference to Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. Laguna, the man with the machine gun arm. That was an indirect reference to Barrett.
Alright. Let's move past this depressing crap. Find Marlene and take it to Shinra. How could this happen? You guys. Really peons. You're not to blame. What the hell is going on? Yeah, now we're back in Wall Market. And we're coming up on an intermission. I think. I'm gonna take a short break in 10 minutes. And then I'll be back. So, yeah. Most of the slums residents got saved. How would I know? They were evacuated before the plate dropped, but not everyone. People were killed. Primarily the members of Avalanche. The members in Cloud's party. Or Barrett. However you want to look at it. And so now these are the only members of Avalanche left. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Violence hey, never the answer. Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. That's another thing they're doing with the update, it seems. Or the remake. They're really pushing the Sephiroth. This is like his eighth appearance already. In the original, he hadn't even appeared yet. He didn't even appear the whole time they were in the Shinra building. But there he is. We premature. I guess the figure kids just couldn't wait. They wanted to see Sephiroth immediately. So they just put these couple of little teasers in. Using Cloud's uh, mental disorder. But none of that was ever in the original. Let's go. None of it. There's no breath of you get to the experimental labs of the Shinra building. So again, still Final Fantasy VII, and yet not Final Fantasy VII. Wait, over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. I'm just gonna follow him, because he seems to know where he's going. Uh. Oh, wait. I bet I could do my album. I bet there's missions I could run here. Or not. Yeah, I'll just follow the story for now. Resolve this little issue Barrett has. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? Pick up some banter. You guys run into Jesse at the pillar. Yeah. Biggs too. They were both in pretty Let bad shape. Through, Let me through, but Wedge through. wasn't up there with them. He got out. Alright. Yeah, Biggs and Wedge. 
And it's, uh, that reference is really weird because it's actually a Star Wars reference to the wingman that, uh, Luke had when they went up on the Death Star. We gotta go find and they the both others. died. Huh? So it became this thing where it Biggs and Wedge always have to die. Uh, right. But then they, they stopped go. doing it. There was no Biggs and Wedge in Final Fantasy right. VIII. I guess the uh, original development team moved on. So the joke was lost. It was weird like that in the 90s. There's all these little like subcultures that were just in the bylines of all the translations and coding. And you just get these little gems like the translation on FF6. I don't think I'm yeah, I'm not supposed to go that way yet. Keep me on the rail. Keep me on the rail. I keep forgetting about that run button. Go back and see Marlene, which honestly I kind of feel like they changed Marlene quite a bit. Maybe it's because of the graphics, the but I swear she looks like a totally different girl. Same dress, this is but different right. girl. So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. She had different it's eyes and hair in the town. original, but, on, but it might have just been a face. rendering thing. I'm going as fast as you are. Big screen, which is so bright you can't even see it, because they kind of like messed up on their like lighter the radius is all wrong. All right, where am I going? This way? This way? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, as a uh, Biggs was dying, he he said, Oh, I used to go visit the kids over at the, the orphanage. She's like, such a hand bone line. Alright, let's go see Marlene. Now I'm going to take a break. And I'll be right back. That's got to be kind of scary for a mom. <laughs> Middle of the night, Barrett just comes to storm in. Here? Barrett! <sighs> a fine Sorry, terrorist leader. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, 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 Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Uh -huh. oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Well, that's Come cute. on, let's go look in on her. So, some things never change, Keep like this down. house. Don't wake her. This looks pretty much identical to the original. Because that was one thing about Final Fantasy VII. They used pre-rendered sets. But the sets, some of them were 3D. Um, they were just images of the 3D rendering. So it looks like they really went all out trying to recreate the exact same image. Because this is basically the same thing you saw in the original but in a completely different rendering. So that's cool. Marlene, my baby, thank God. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. 
We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yeah, that's not quite yes. what happened. Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. So this is but all new. He didn't come. New rendering, same I story. Help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. Elmira. We'll learn more about her later. My I'm husband sure. had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad, because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Again, same story. Same script. Things like that. She'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. You know you're not 
just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. And there it is. Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! But all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Oh, yes Don't make are. things worse than they already are. We're gonna go storm the building. If I lost her Take too, ass, I don't know if I could. Blow some things if up. I could ever. Just deal with it, woman. Just don't. Be thankful that you got some time with her. You know. Cloud. Maybe she's right about this. Oh, and by the way, ancients are such a. It's, it's one and the same thing. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. More stall quests. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Yep. Like, <sighs> the they put in more stall quests. Yeah. Rather than directly okay. progressing to the building, they're going to give us a chance to play through all the sub areas again. Hit up probably all the sub quests that were. Like, I went to the Coliseum and there was only three fights. I bet you anything I go to the Coliseum again, there'll be like seven fights now. And it'll be the same for Sector 5 and 7, most likely. Whereas in the original, I believe they just went directly to Shinra building. I don't know, it's been a really long time. But I seem to recall... That it was pretty direct. It was like, they got Aerith, we gotta go get Aerith. Let's go. None of this take a moment, take a breather. But I don't, I don't mind. I like re-exploring all these areas. Admiring all the nice new graphics. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. Hmm. Yeah, I think that is the same. So yeah. Still on track for the most part. And it's still on the fence. On whether I like it or not. I think I'm slowly leaning towards like, but I can't be 100% for sure till I get outside. Once I see the open world and I get a chocobo, I think uh, I'm pretty much going to be sold. I'm not a really big fan of Midgar. I always thought it was the most painful part of the game. Besides um, some stuff that happens in Disc 3, but I'm trying not to spoil. I mean, yeah, it's a 23 year old game, so really there is no rules when it comes to spoiling at this point, but still. Just for the benefit of all the viewers, I will leave it up to you to figure out what I'm talking about. I'm not going to spoil. At least I'm going to try not to. Never really been aware of that stuff prior to. I don't know, 10 years ago? 
There's no such thing as a spoiler. And then it just wasn't that good. But now, everybody's on different pages all the time.